Good day, everybody. This is Dragon Lover Maniac, and today I am going to be reading a story that I made. I've been sorry for my messy room. I don't know how to cover that. Hey, I had a my room is being changed. That I had like um this set um drawers that was on the side here where all the stuff was on so it's been moved up here and now all the stuff is there so for now my room is messy till this self right here um i'm not gonna show it to the left or it just shows more messiness i'd rather not so yeah just if you just want to skip to the straight to the story just fo do what it says on the screen um so yeah sorry pardon for the messiness it's gonna be like that for now. I'm gonna be cutting out a lot. <laughs> okay, um, so I ha hardly ever read a story for a long time. The only story I read was from my own story from long ago. Um, it's really backed up, so it's gonna be tricky to find that. So. But, yeah, I can give the link to the description of how far I came. That story was really cheesy. My friend humored me and saying it was really good, better than I ever heard. It's like, yeah, now many years later, I think about it, it's like, yeah, that was a white lie. <laughs> I appreciate it, Hunter, though. I really appreciate you white lying, at least. Okay, so, yeah, this story is War On, and I haven't thought of the title yet. I have yet, I don't know what to call the land, so War On this kind of land so, I have. I'm thinking about this. Is story is actually based of the um, server that I've been playing on a lot, and I'm admin on. Um, Beyond Dark RP. I really enjoy this server and all the fanfics. It's like mm, might as well start showing some of my talents and do my own fa and fan fiction, but do a different turn because usually so far the fanfics is always about like. Um, porno, gay, and rare times, straight. It's like, might as well break the mold and do something special and different. Unless you want porno in the, my story, you have to have your character in it if you want him to have porno. <laughs> but it's gonna, the character is supposed to be basing it off of you. I just said in the th thread on the forums that you can add your character here. I'm not gonna add any um, porno unless you want it to be in, your character be in a porno situation. I'm thinking about making one anyway, but it's gonna be, gonna be not on this, um, on this Beyond Dark RP forums, and it's gonna be on my other, um, site that I'm gonna keep quiet, because I'm worried about me being, this being taken down for advertisement. If I mean the okay that I'm allowed to um, give a link to the site that I've been posting my stories and my art on, uh, given the okay by the owner slash co-owners, then I'll do I'll put in the link. But for now, I'm just gonna be hush hush till then. Okay, so this is a story. I hope you enjoy. And sorry it took me so long. It took me like two days to actually get this done yesterday and today. And the reason why it took me this long is because it was a battle to get myself to do this. Because I always lose motivation in doing things. So it was a battle for me to make this complete. But once I got myself to do it, I ended up kept going. But it was hard to get myself to get to do it. So yeah, I hope you enjoy the story. And I have this, my face here, just in case that some people are more easy to read lips than reading somehow. Everybody's unique. Or you prefer to, or is deaf and prefer to hear it like through here, then that works too. So that's why I put it on the screen. So, or you want to read along. So yeah, sorry, I'm not very speakable. I only made chapter one. Okay, um, I watched the vid first video and that I made it, and I didn't really enjoy how it worked out because I, so the words were slightly 
small that it made some blur words, so I made it bigger so it's easier to see, just in case some are you can't see well. And I kept on re-editing some things because I made some mistakes in some areas, and I forgot some details here and there, so I add some things here. So now I'm going to reread the story, despite how much I didn't want to. But the bloopers that I made on the first story, first time I read it, I'm going to add it in anyway, so for the fun of it. Because who likes silliness? Okay, chapter one, meet the young hero. Amorous, use your tail. Your body is also a weapon, the elder dragon said to the young dragon. Amorous spun around, knocking his opponent off his feet. He lunged at his opponent's neck with his mouth open and his sharp teeth showing, but his opponent used its feet, making him go over his opponent and rolled on the ground. The opponent rolled up and stand instantly and put his feet on Amorous' neck, pinning him. Enough! The Elder Dragon bellowed. Amron won the battle. The Elder Dragon is a light gray Anthro Dragon. Anthro is half human, half creature. And the creature is a dragon. Right now, as you can tell. He is wearing this black robe with flames trying to reach up from the bottom of the robe. And almost touching the waist. The base at the bottom of the robe, the base at the end of the sleeve, and the base around the neck has a gold brim. There is gold flames from the top of the shoulder coming down below the chest, and it's flaming down towards the ground, like it's defying gravity. And where a belt will be in the middle has a red belt showed in with the robe. Amorous. Try not to do the finishing blow every moment. You need to wait for the perfect moment to do the final blow. Now, training will not happen tomorrow. We have friends from long ago coming to visit our place. Be there on time as best you can. And be respectful. The next time I see some disrespect our guests again like last time, will be punished severely. The elder dragon walks out of the big room. The room is a giant mined out cave. There were eight holes on the roof unordered where the sunlight can come in. Only on the one side of the room was carved out windows and the other side with torches. The doorway is on the wall towards the left and of the torches. There are torches on the window wall too, but are unlit. The room is rectangle and it's almost sundown. Amrith clenched his fists and smacked the ground, growling at himself for his failure. I got to say, you really improve, Amron said, slight evil smile. Get off me and stop smiling at me like that, jerk! Amron chuckled and released Amrus and put his claw hand down to help Amrus up, but Amrus got up by himself. Amron shook his head. You always try to make yourself look amazing to our elders, but you always make yourself have tunnel vision and you keep making mistakes on the basic fighting maneuvers, Amrus said with a worried look. I don't need your advice, Amron. You're just more lucky because you have more muscle on you than me, Amroth growled. Me having more muscles mean nothing if you are more skilled than me, Amron sighed. Just please make sure you come to the feast tomorrow. We're going to welcome a long-lost friend, and I do not want to see you not there and be here to keep practicing your combat. Family is more important than your pride. Amron just brushed the dust off himself and ignores him. Amorith is a bright red dragon anthro. He is wearing leather armor and his chest plate is like a vest but has two lines on the back so when he slides down the armor, the base 
the wings base of at his back will slide in between like this and use this leather strap to hold it together to not make it flat brown. The pants is similar but the strap is the belt and it's above the tail to hold the leather pants up. But he is not wearing helmet, gloves, nor boots. The armor is worn down from being used many times. Amron is wearing the same thing. Amron is a green anthro dragon. Amron sighed again and walks out of the room shaking his head. His tail swinging like One day, you will learn that pride corrupts you and make you lose the ones you love. Amron shouted when he was about to leave the big room. Amroth growled angrily and put his hands on a dragon's armor stand and flung it to the ground and yelled like an angry child having a tantrum. Why am I so weak? Amroth out into himself. He put his back against the wall where the armor stand was leaning on. He slid down to the ground and put his hands on his head. I try so hard. I work my butt off every hour to learn skills to defeat my enemies. But I still Still fail. The elders will think I am never good enough and banish me from our dragon clan. He stays there silent for a moment, then he opened his eyes. He just thinks over and over what he did wrong, how to avoid it next time, and become better. He put his hands on his leg and sighed. He looks to his left and sees the helmet that was on the armor stand. He used his tail to pick it up and have it up to his face in front of him. The helmet was silver with the design of flames coming from the nostrils, going alongside the muzzle, below the eyes, and sprouts out like fins on the back of a dragon's head. <clears throat> this was the armor that Eldron, the elder dragon that was teaching today, Worn this helmet in the war that happened 400 years ago. The battle between the dragons and the humans. And the armor still have the dents from the war, but is kept well preserved. Back then, the humans saw us dragons as monsters. Horrible beasts that eat their sheep, burn their crops, and steal their valuables. I admit, there are some dragons that were bad. But we are just the same as them. Some were good, some were bad. But they attacked the good dragons anyway for anger and fear of us. It was a bloody war. Traitors and our own dragon friends to help the humans kill us off. But the traitors got killed by the humans anyway. <laughs> Karma. But our elder dragon, the half-human, half-dragon, with the help of a human friend and a husky werewolf that does not stand as a human, fought both sides to stop the war. And they won. They stopped the bloodshed that lasted for eight years. And to thank the human and husky for stopping the war, the elder dragons gave them their blood, and with the help of the mages, the humans and husky drank the blood and made them as strong as us, live long as us. But the husky and human left for something. I don't always pay attention to our teacher. All I care about was us. But now, our elder dragon made this clan, where us anthro dragons tried to keep peace with the humans and dragons to avoid this war from happening again. Two hundred years ago, I was born. My parents were soldiers, helping our kind help keep the peace. I always wanted to be a warrior, a knight, and above all the others worthy dragons in our group, Eldron chose me to train to be strong, and I've been trying so hard to become like our elder, 
a peacemaker, a great warrior, but I always make these STUPID LITTLE MISTAKES! He slammed the helmet on the ground. I am never going to be as good as our elder. I am always going to make these stupid mistakes, and they will never accept me as one of them. Amra sighed angrily. <sighs> Anger issues again, said a woman's voice. Amrith looks up and sees a purple anther dragon. She wore a light purple robe with, that has a gold belt with the purple orbs. And the same thing with the base of the neck and the robe. When I meant base, it's like this base. This shows she was a mage. She was leaning on the doorway with her left hand on her hip. Hi, Dahlia. Amrith said with a grumpy attitude. Dahlia makes this sound like she's tisking four ties. Still trying to be better than us again, she said with a mocking smile. Amrith glared at her. She shakes her head and walks to him. Her smile sucks into a jetty smile. Trying so hard will get you sick one day. Mark my words. She picks up the armor stand and put it back to where it was. You really should not try so hard. Aldron pick you above everyone else here. You should be honored. She said as she picks up the arms of the armor and puts it back on the armor rack. I'll be honored when I go on a private journey with him. Still stubborn as always. She dusts off the armor. You be quiet. At least the high mage praises you every time you do something, right? I have to work harder to do get the praise from Eldron. Delia sighed. You do know he almost never praised anyone, right? So why even try and abandon all the hard work he did for me? He snapped at Delia, interrupting her. That's not what I meant. I meant why try hard to get a praise from someone who almost never praised anyone. You're asking for something that you're never gonna get. Amra stays silent. Delia huffs out her nose. <sighs> Look, she picks up the helmet. He brings you under his wing. Him training you is the biggest honor you're ever going to get from him. Nothing more. And he is teaching you moves that our ancestors knows that was forgotten so long ago that gave you a more advantages over battle to only you. But you try to impress him with your new skills. To make him like you more when he already does. She kneels down. <clears throat> Do not let your ego get the better of you. Probably that's why he never gives you a pat on the head for a job well done. For your hard work. She holds out the helmet to him. Now quit being a flame head and be glad on what you have. Amra stares at her for a moment, then looks at the helmet for a moment. Then he gently takes it from her and keeps staring at the helmet. The light from the torches are dancing on the helmet, making the flames on the helmet as if it was alive. His eyes slightly widen from the beauty from the helmet. Delia smiles. She stands up and lends her claw hand towards him. Amaris finally released from being memorized by the helmet and looks at Dahlia's hand. He then looks at her eyes. Despite the attitude he gives to everyone, they still try to help him. He looks back to her hand, then gently grabs her hand and she helps him up. You are an amazing dragon. You really should not be so hard on yourself from these silly little mistakes. 
We are not in a life and death situation yet, so enjoy every moment while you still can. She grins sweetly. Emma stares at her for a moment and nods. Good. Now I will see you at the feast, you handsome beast. She said with a deviant smile. Emirates' eyes widen a bit. That was the first someone said that to him. She walks out of the room, swinging her tail left and right in a flirty manner. <laughs> when she finally left, he still stood there staring at the door for a long moment. Oh, Lori Lou. He said with a shaky breath, exhale, and same time slowly looks back to the helmet. The helmet is reflecting his face, like the helmet was his head. He felt some strength from looking at the helmet. He walks to the armor stand and looks at the armor stand. The light from the sunset is what making the armor look like a masterpiece of art. He puts the helmet back on the armor stand and steps back and looks up and down at the armor. The armor was crafted by the greatest blacksmith. The legs were scales, the boots were claws, the chest plate were flames shooting upward, and the arms were scales, and the hands were like claws. It's like a design is like an anthro dragon that is on fire. Some find it intimidating, some don't. Excuse me. They may be right. I've been working too hard and trying to prove something that I will never get, he thought. He looks at the helmet, and the helmet looks at him. He puffs out his chest out. Nonetheless, I am not going to stop till my elders say I am a worthy knight, a warrior. He stares at the armor a bit longer, then he opens his mouth, flinging out a gust of flames to his left and lights the torches that were on the window wall. He stares at the torches as the flames dances with joy of life. He smiles a tiny bit, looks back. Looks at the armor one last time. Now the flames on both walls now makes the flames on the armor come alive. He grins a bit bigger. One day, I will be as great as you, Eldron, he said. Then he walks out of the big room. Oh god, I made so many mistakes on that. And I did it along the way. You'll, I'm gonna make a blueberry area right after I get done speaking of this. <sighs> Okay then. I'm gonna rewatch this um, video to make sure I didn't get any jubby cunts, cause sometimes it does that. It's annoying with this program. This program that I'm using is Screencastle Manic. The thing I'm using is Cyberlink UCAM. It doesn't do 8P, so it, I can only do like very low resolution, so I use Screencastle Manic to show this. Even though the screen casual manic already has its own feature, but like nah, might as well make it bigger. Cause screen casual manic has a certain amount of how big the you can can be, so I made it like this. So I really hope you enjoy my story. Yeah, the only thing she helped me with was the um changing the letters and I mean numbers to letters I'm um, changing helm to helmet because I kept saying helm a lot. It's like, no, that doesn't seem right. So I changed that, all that. And the w armor worn down is supposed to be like, uh, I said dim down, but she's like, no, that doesn't seem right. So I changed it to worn down. So those are the only small changes that she did, but the rest I did all myself. Uh, it took me a lot of changes and some errors I make, and that guy I saw some errors along the way I was reading, and I fixed it. And I'm not going to show that in the video, but it's just going to be cut out and removed. But, nonetheless, so I hope you enjoyed the bloopers I'm going to be putting in the below. So, and...
one last thing. Um, there's some highlights that I want to actually say. The video is over, so I skip to the bloopers. The uh, highlights will be the numbers that you would be seeing on the screen now. It should be showing already. The shows when you can skip to the bloopers. So some of the highlights that I'm gonna be sh talking about is the him complaining about him not doing good enough. Some of these are basing about some of the things about me, cause when I was trying to become admin, I was a moderator. I've been working so hard. I've been working my butt off, but yet people always get it so quickly, despite uh, that I did so much, but yet always make these little mistakes that ended up hindering me that made me become admin a month later of being when I signed up while well, other people are like getting it for after two weeks being staffs like what am I doing wrong so that's why I was like sounding these stupid little mistakes I'm never going to be praised so heck that's why I was shocked when Frankie actually finally gave me the admin because like, oh my god, I actually finally got it? I would still suck from then because I never... I was giving up hope if, if it wasn't for Lost saying I was doing an amazing job and from all this hard work, he was praising me and telling about this one person from the Night Shift. So it, uh, me getting admin was in the horizon. If it wasn't for him praising me, I would have given all hope about becoming admin. That's kind of like um, Dahlia. It's like, despite everything, you are amazing. You, you're you just... that's So Dahlia is kind of like Lost, even though she's a female and Lost is male, but you get the point. It's supposed to be relating to something in real life. So that's what the, kind of like the relationship about this. And... What else? <laughs> now stop being a flame head instead of a hot head because dragons breathe fire. So instead of hot head, it's flame head. <laughs> Cheesy. I always try to find things to make silly. Try to be silly like <laughs> karma. And the being a little flirty. <laughs> I try to find ways to be silly if, if I can. Try to add humor in some serious situations. I'm kind of like that. So, I try my best. And... So... So, for now, the characters that are right now are not anyone that's related to the people on the staff. Because, like I said, I said, if you want to be in the story, put in below. So far, I did... I'm going to add Cobalt to the story, but then I was like, hmm... I really doubt Koba would prefer to be a dragon. I think he wants to be a furry anthro, so... I stress the idea of him being the elder dragon and, and changed and named him Eldron instead. And I... Um, so, in... And if you want a spoiler on um, the human, spoiler, the human in the, actually never mind, I'm going to keep that a secret till later. Me, 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 if you already connect some dots. Um, also, one of the things is Delia, what she's wearing, the robe. It's a Marwin game, the robe of one of the clothes that you can wear in the game. From the Elder Scrolls, Marwind, the game. So, that robe is what she's wearing. <laughs> Hopefully I didn't miss anything. If I did, and when I'm reviewing the video, I'll edit it in. Sorry if my, my voice is a bit groggly, because reading this much makes my throat hurt. never speak so much, so that's why it's so hard on me. So yeah, that's how the story wins. 
So yeah, again, I hope you enjoy my story. So thank you all for watching chapter one. Chapter the next chapters will come out later. Um, I don't know when, but probably be a week later. Or if the server continues being empty, I'm gonna be doing it more often. So yeah, thank you all for watching. This is Dragon Lover Maniac flying off. Bye bye. Enjoy the bloopers. Sharp teeth showing, but his opponent used its feet to make him go over his opponent and roll on the ground. The opponent rolled up and stand up instantly and put his feet on below the ch Freaking heck. <clears throat> Edit! Gonna be in the bloopers. The base of the bottom of the rope. Eh. Amorous. Try not to be. F try not to. Yeah. The doorway is on the left. Left side. Animation. Let's say that. Edited a long while reading. You evil smile. Get off me and stop smiling at me. And I do not want you. And I do not want to see you he- Slides it down on himself. The wings at the base of his back will slide in between. That ended up being more dirty than I expected. <laughs> Perfect! Excuse me. <laughs> He's in front of him. On the back of the dragon's head. I'm not gonna. I am not gonna restew this all. Wait! So much edited. Our elder dragons. The dragon gave. Excuse me. Hmm. Or the elder dragons gave the uh, robe that was. Yeah, reading makes my dry throat dry so darn easily. <clears throat> Anthro is half human, half dragon. <clears throat> no, and, and Anthro is half human, half creature of some sort. In her hip. Excuse me again. Why am I so freaking angry? You do know, no, 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 dang it. Yeah, there's still some typos that I need to fix. Sherbert! You changed your name again! Stay calm, little Sherbert! May God be your gosh dang mind! Being a flame head, and be glad of what you have. She walks out of the room, swinging her tail left and right in a flirty manner. Pervert! <laughs> it doesn't do 120 ping. Um, 200. Doesn't do eight high. Yeah. Now training will not happen tomorrow. We will <laughs> calling after so many goddamn times. Please make so. Would you quit whining? To. She wore a light ro robe. One day, I will be as great as you, Eldron, he said. Then he walks out of the big room. Worst timing.